Systems integration has long been recognized as one of the major challenges related to open RAN planning and deployment. So how is this being addressed by the operators keen to add open RAN based systems to their mobile networks? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Paco Pignatelli, head of open RAN at Vodafone, which is already deploying open multi-vendor RAN systems in its production network. So Paco, thanks very much for joining us today. Um, so with the experience you already have from tests, trials and deployments, how is Vodafone approaching Open RAN systems integration? That, that's a very good question, Ray. We have been uh, working uh, on our learning process uh, from the beginning and, and it all started with the um, uh, idea that uh, Vodafone will take uh, most of the system integration ourselves. But to be honest, uh, in the initial phase of the deployment, we, we've we been rely, uh, reliant on uh, our current uh, set of suppliers in, in the UK, primarily helped by uh, Samsung. Um, during this time, we've been learning on how to take the process ourselves. Uh, we've been there defining uh, the different procedures. We've been uh, uh, hiring people. Uh, we've been uh, also scouting the market and, and understanding um, uh, you know, the different approaches and, and making our, our own trial and error um, uh, to, to find the, the, best, the best way. Uh, our idea is uh, to go into our next phase because before we uh, get into a mass scale deployment. So after summer, most likely, uh, we will be uh, uh, launching a process to get uh, some support uh, for us in order to uh, be able to scale on, on all the uh, uh, different activities. But for the most part, it's a Vodafone-led um, responsibility. We are uh, taking care of uh, the product integration, uh, the product deployment, and, and then the, uh, the operation as well, where you, in all cases, you need a, uh, certainly need a, a company playing, playing that role. Someone is to uh, play the coordination uh, role that has been performed by uh, traditional suppliers to, in the past. We're doing it primarily uh, uh, thanks to network of collaboration. If you take, for example, the product integration phase, uh, it's not that our labs are replicating what a traditional supplier uh, had in the past. We, we are working together with our suppliers and uh, uh, we are uh, managing uh, the release delivery as if it was a very big uh, project or program uh, that, again, Vodafone retains uh, accountability of. And, um, but, but it's a network. It's, a, it's, a, it's all, everybody benefiting from, from, from everybody else. Uh, and now that we are in the latest phase uh, before implementing our, our blueprint, uh, we we are also supporting uh, other companies on uh, their own uh, system integration or product integration journey. So we are offering um, services, if you wish, to, to those companies and, and uh, it's coming together. Okay, excellent. Well, it sounds like uh, quite a big uh, sort of learning experience you've gone through. So what, what would you see have been uh, the main challenges and also the positive learning experiences from what Vodafone's gone through so far? Well, uh, the, some of the problems came from the fact that we had no uh, uh, technology solutions that we re required. For example, imagine a certain market that you need a, a specific massive MIMO implementation and it's not there. Uh, so you need to you need to sort that out. It's a technology problem, not specific to, to open run itself then. In some cases, we had some problem with some suppliers as well. Some of them are new, and and we had to um, you know go to Plan B in some in some in some cases. And uh, um, also the cost at the beginning. Uh, you are not supposed to pay for an integration in the long run, but uh, in the short term, uh, we had to do it in some in some cases. Uh, we also made some mistakes in the approach for uh, system integration because initially we wanted to go for a model that would serve all the industry, um, like, you know, going big, trying to boil the ocean probably, and uh, we then have to go a, a little bit more uh, limited scale and, and do it on a, a Vodafone set of suppliers. So now, more recently, our, our own focus has been more in, a, in a working with a, our set of 
configurations, our own suppliers, then getting that right. And then when that is uh, available, is, is when you are able to share with the wider community. Uh, so moving, uh, in short, from a, a top-down approach to a, more like a bottom-up, um, where you show the value, you deliver something, and then you offer to to the rest of the community. And, and now probably uh, most of the challenges are in the automation phase where we're still uh, you know, uh, working to get the right maturity. Radio works, we are getting good results in, in, uh, in our uh, deployment in the UK, but the automation is still in early days. So, so now we are facing that and uh, I mean, uh, interesting journey, but nothing that time cannot, cannot fix, to be honest. Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, and interesting that you've uh, switched from one approach to another, and I'm sure that's something that will help other operators as well. Now, you're obviously sharing your experiences here with uh, the rest of the ecosystem, but what can be done by the industry in general, the broader ecosystem, to improve these systems integration processes? And can the development of blueprints really help operators? I, I think so. I think so. One of the key points is uh, the role that some uh, industry body needs to play or an alliance uh, in the certification and, and the tip uh, in order to help uh, getting the right products to the market, ensuring that uh, we have the right interoperability. Uh, I think it's important that uh, um, we uh, uh, get to the right maturity uh, in, in those coordinations, because I was saying before, we in Vodafone, we are becoming like experts, if you wish, in our uh, own set of suppliers and the configurations. But uh, who works with other suppliers? Who, who coordinates that uh, there is an end-to-end -end that uh, a small operator that has not uh, the chance to work on open run the way we do the big ones uh, uh, can take advantage of? So uh, I think uh, TIP uh, should, should help us uh, get in there. And, uh, well, obviously, there is another point, a broader point on the overall maturity. Uh, there will be a moment when um, inter interoperability, it's a given. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can have one radio with uh, the base, baseband from another supplier, like if it was a, a plug, and, plug and play, like, like, an, uh, like an USB, <laughs> for example. Uh, one of the uh, important points that Blueprints can help is the uh, and this is something we have learned while, while uh, working on, on system integration is, uh, I mean, there are some aspects of Open RAN that today make it more, uh, you know, lengthy process to, to do the integration. There are some uh, aspects of the uh, uh, specifications that are left open, that are not mandatory. Then uh, you need to put together software from uh, the digital unit and the radio, and uh, sometimes it's difficult uh, because uh, those uh, different uh, considerations, whether a certain uh, point is mandatory or not, or, or if, I, if it's implemented or not, there are also requirements from the operators themselves that you know, make, make it, a, make, make it a, 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 a need, the, 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 um, um, the dialogue between the different parties. So we can, we, we can get more standardizing the approach, we can get more organizing the approach to communicate uh, between the different uh, actors and, uh, and and also to simplify. So if you have less less options, then it becomes uh, it becomes easier. So in that way, um, uh, if we have blueprints that clarify and support what needs to be uh, discussed and agreed, and uh, that is shared, that uh, it, it will all be uh, easier. Uh, obviously, other aspects like testing, uh, if you are able to have uh, standardized testing and it's very clear what needs to be done in order to have a proper integration, then uh, it's, uh, it's also beneficial, I would say. Yeah, uh, so obviously, uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, greater experience and, and time uh, will really help uh, in these processes. And I, I guess that's why uh, sharing of experiences is, is so important at, at this part of the process. Um, so. What would Vodafone's main message be to the sector about open RAN systems integration? What would you like to say to the industry that, that you would like to see happen next or that can help with all, all of these matters? Well, one, one point would be on overall cost. I, I think it's clear that uh, when, when you have to put together all the things that you had disaggregated before, there is a cost that you need to, 
take into account. So you could say, okay, that's going to be very complex. That's going to be a bigger cost than, than, than your savings. Um, what we can say from our experience is that uh, uh, it's true that it's a new activity, but the, the, the overall uh, total cost of ownerships remain uh, positive. And uh, we have plans to make it even uh, better in the future. So we are confident that uh, the system integration problem, even though it's something that we also, you know, we need to improve and 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 we need to uh, we need to get to the right level of maturity. It's it's uh, it's a problem that has a solution, and uh, it will be off the table uh, uh, very soon. I think the industry needs to work on that in the next twelve months. But uh, we have a plan, and we have uh, visibility that uh, it will be it will be sorted. So I will say that to uh, my colleagues, and I will also uh, call them uh, for action. If you want to do open run, if you want to um, get into the journey, uh, don't hesitate to approach the big operators, uh, the ones who are having already the experience. Uh, some of my uh, colleagues, uh, like for example, Docomo, they are. Uh, being very public about this and, uh, and there are others as well. Uh, I think uh, it's all about uh, networks collaboration. It's about sharing and not repeating. And um, uh, but, but, but the good news is that it's all happening. So we have a plan. Okay, excellent. Yes, and that industry collaboration is going to be really important to achieve a scale across this, uh, what is still uh, an emerging part of the industry. Well, uh, great insights there, Paco. Uh, thanks very much for speaking with us today and uh, good luck with the rest of the journey at Vodafone. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you for having me.